fertility doctors across the nation are seeing a surge in IVF. One third of all couples will undergo the treatment. But there's a drought of care in Montana, leaving Billings Clinic the only facility in Montana to offer it, even as treatment comes under fire across the nation. Tonight, I show you the lengths Montanans will travel to expand their families. Life is nothing short of busy. <laughs> For Ty and Desiree Vincent. We definitely have our hands full, but. With four boys, the youngest just one month old. Uh, feeling pretty blessed. The Vincents always dreamed of having a big family. I'm so glad that we did it. And like, what if we wouldn't have done it? Then we wouldn't have all this chaos and commotion and love. And but to do it, they needed a little help. Desiree says after having Lane, now 10, they wanted more babies. But she was told her chances were slim. Basically, I found out like I had low eggs. So they opted to try IVF. The only problem, care is scarce in Montana. The Vincents knew if they were going to grow their family, they'd have to travel to do it. Going all the way from Great Falls to Billings, some 200 miles away, to the only IVF clinic in the state. It meant that some days they were on the road for as much as eight hours in order to get their miracle babies. Eight hour days, you go there, get there, have your appointment, grab lunch and come back. Billings Clinic is the only facility in Montana to offer IVF. So the Vincents estimate they made the 440 mile round trip trek to Billings five times over the course of a year and a half and they're far from alone. I have patients that come all the way from, say, Coeur d'Alene, all the way from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, we've got some South Dakota people. We've got a lot of North Dakota people all over Montana, Haver, Kalispell. When Billings Clinic opened its IVF center in 2010, doctors performed 52 cycles that year. That number increased to 500 in 2023, a surge of a thousand percent. I love taking care of pregnant people. I love delivering babies. Dr. Stacy Shimento has been with Billings Clinic since 2004, helping families grow. So I saw the need here in Montana. The Vincents transferred two embryos, freezing one, Rex, now four, and Colt, age two. They just have this bond that's like awesome. But fears around the future of in vitro fertilization are rising. IVF has become a political hot potato. This year, fetal personhood bills have been introduced in at least 14 states. Reproductive rights groups warn these proposals could restrict or ban IVF because of the legal implications for destroying an unused embryo. From that perspective, I don't want uh, the availability of IVF to ever go away. IVF has been around for more than 40 years. Um, it's not new science. It's, it is the standard of care for patients struggling with infertility. While Montana is not one of the states considering legislation at this point, families like the Vincents could be caught in the crosshairs. IVF has ma made such a difference in our lives. I can't imagine it not for people that want to do it. They feel fortunate to have access to IVF and continue to count their blessings as they welcomed little Drake naturally just one month ago. We were lucky like that, I guess, so. And no matter the distance or emotions that go along with IVF, they say they'd do it all again. We, we couldn't ask for anything more. It's worth it. <laughs>